side by side on my piano. Oh, you gonna lose, baby. Because let me tell you something. When it comes to slurping shit up and throwing it in my mouth, let's cut that out. When it... <laughs>
podcast. I've touched so many. Because we have po- to double up. Remember, I've never seen somebody do this. I just silenced my mom calling, and he picked up a call. I'll call you back when we're done. I love you. Okay, Steve, you, this is beyond, bro. Uh, what, what the what frick was that? It's my lady. I, dude, I just silenced my mom on the podcast. I know, but you know, you got to do what you got to do, right, Dave? Call, <laughs> I'm calling my mom <laughs> then, mean, dude. No, don't call your mom. Yeah, I'm calling dude, my mom. Dude, no, don't call your mom. Yep, call what my you mom. Doing? Call your mom. <laughs> we got to hear this. Yeah. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> dude, we're calling my mom because dude, I silenced her. Dude, don't throw me in the mix, though, dude. Don't try to hook me up with your mom again. <laughs> He's trying to get me to hook up with his mom, dude. Hey, Lady Longley. <laughs> lady got to get Ooh, some of that. Bobby. Hey, Mama, you're on Scissor Bros with me and Steve. We're, we're recording when you Hi, call. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? I miss you. I miss you, too. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. There's fire behind Hope you're doing them. good. Hope you're doing good. We're just thinking about you. Don't say me. Say you. Say you. Yeah. Oh, we, that's my sister and my mom on the same call, Steve. We love the Watkins family over here on, on this part of the, the world. Okay, yeah. we love y'all. I hope you have happy holidays. Okay. Why is Steve you too? David, say hi to them. D- d- uh, we have a yeah. special guest here right now. Hi. Who? Hi. D- his name's David. Hi, David. How are you? Awesome. My Jeremiah's birthday is in a couple of days, and we're just um, sending off his birthday goodies. Oh. Did, did, did he? Did he tell you what I got him for his birthday? No. What'd you get him? I haven't talked to her about it yet. He got me a new pair of shoes and a bunch of other, like, little things. And he swapped them for something else. <laughs> <laughs> what would you get him? You got him tennis shoes? He got me shoes. I got him more than shoes. Ma- I got him several, lo- a lot of gifts. But, but, a lot of gifts. But, Mama, with the shoes, so you know me that I don't hold a bluff if I don't like something, right? With any gifts, right? That's honest man right there. Oh, he'll tell you. Yeah, so I ended up exchanging the shoes that Steve got me for a different pair of shoes. Oh, yeah. Well, you should. You wouldn't wear them. See? Wow. That's how my mom brought me up. That's honest. Why, why, even if it was a gift that someone thought of and, and went out of their way to get them the gift. And that's awesome. But do you want your hard-earned money sitting in the closet or do you want your hard-earned money being enjoyed <laughs> and you seen Jeremiah, Jeremiah get enjoyment out of it? You know what? I see I see your logic and yeah, I can't disagree with you. You're right. I'd rather him be uh, straightforward and then and be honest about something, especially when it has to do with shoes. Well, yeah, and you'll, you'll see him wear them all the time and you'll know how much he likes them. They're still from you, just because they're not the ones that you picked out. It's still the ones that you got him. Bars, man. Uh, you mm-hmm. know what? L- let me process bars. that. I, I think you got a point there. You might oh, have I a do, point. Honey. Mom, mama knows best. Hey, mama, have you been thinking of Steve at all lately? <laughs> I always think of Steve. <laughs> well, like, what have you been thinking about him? Mm, you know, it's. <laughs> Steve knows that. I don't no, know I Steve don't know. And this is the thing. I got to put my foot down and set boundaries right now. I do have a girlfriend, Miss Watkins. I have a girlfriend. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter sweetheart. I have a husband. What the hell <laughs> you know, I want to do the right thing. I'm a faithful man. Well, that's good. I'm a faithful woman to both of you. Whoever I'm going to be faithful. Yo. I love you. That's Happy holidays. I love you. Life. I love you. You won't stay gone long. You, you'll be coming back for Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to let that I'm gonna let that set in. Uh, I hope you all have a good, uh, happy new year as well. We love you, Mama. Well, wow. I'll give you a call a little bit later yeah. today. Love you. And um, seriously, Steve. I hope you and your family have a wonderful See, holiday season. I re- and, and I do love you. I and appreciate so you. Thank you so much. Spring. We appreciate you over here. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Okay. And bye, David. I'll look forward to meeting you. Bye. Bye, Jeremiah. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, ain't gonna lie. Your mama I'm so sorry. Sound that was hot. rude. <laughs> Your mama sound hot. Let's oh, just let's, say let's, let's back hold. in the day. <laughs> back
back in the day. <laughs> Let's say the kids would be running when I got picked up from school. Really? Okay. Oh. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see really? what you put you it see down. What I'm saying? I see what he pick it up. Uh -huh. oh. oh, he picked it up. He flipped it and reversed it. Okay. <laughs> She would hold me down. She would hold me down. Huh? Oh yeah. yeah, she would fuck you against the wall, bro. <laughs> Where I'm like, like trying to get her off. She would put his legs up in the. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let me ask you, what 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 shoe did you get him that you? I knew you'd ask. I, I got know. I got New Balance. Okay. They're over ninety dollars. Will you agree? I said I made a blanket statement last episode. I said oh, I said this is a blanket God. statement. I said I don't like usually how New Balance look on white people. Because <laughs> it looks like it's supposed to be on them. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's all Oh, like... so that's a thing. Yeah. It's like counterculture. People wear it because they're dad shoes and they're kind of dope. But when exactly. you see it on white people, it's like, why well, you got them things on me? See? Oh, damn. Okay, I see. And David point. knows. Okay. Can we, go... I'm sorry. You got. You have a, you had your point and I agree. Have you always been like that with gifts where you could just be like, this is from my heart. Go, that's funny because it's trash. So give me the money instead. Yeah. Well, we, that's crazy because he asked that is me the how most much Korean thing you've ever done. Yeah, by the way. that's a that's Korean, Korean shit, dude. My he... mom has literally done that to me before. How much you pay? Valentine's Day. I gave her a bouquet of flowers. She goes, these are going to die. Why would you give this to me? Give me money. And then she threw it in the trash in front of me. I was like 18. That's hella Korean. Huh? <gasps> yeah. That's Dang, that has stuck with yeah. me till this day. Whoa. And that's he... going to stick with you for a while. <laughs> Because I told him I wasn't frugal about it. He goes, how much you spend? I go, dude, this I wasn't frugal. I spent over $90. Wow. You have and the then receipt? he goes, uh, that's when the reel came out. He goes, can I just trade these in? That's honesty, though. Yeah. That was, you know what? That is honest, huh? See, and his mom gave him the gift of life, and he yeah. tried to kill himself yesterday. See, so it's the same there thing. There you go. All right. I want to I wanna transition to a segue. I thought of since oh, I got yeah, my you did Korean, I got okay. my Korean brother. In okay, here. what what do you want? Oh, your Korean's way better than mine, right? My Korean is terrible. My actually. Korean's worse is the worst out of everyone. <laughs> okay. okay, it's the worst, hands down. We're gonna do a thing where guests are Korean. We got our man here, my scissor bro, and we're gonna be kind of talking in Korean back and forth. And I want Damn, I'm so you nervous. to try to guess what we said. <sighs> oh, Look, can okay, I start okay. it off? Go ahead. <laughs> You're okay, nervous. but I'm not without giving <laughs> no, it away. <laughs> without giving it away, I don't want him to read my body language. Okay. Egon Mugok Sadam Kondongi Mashiso. Um I would like to see your butthole. You know, that's pretty close. Hold on a second. Let's translate it. But hold on a second. Wait, 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 that's, to, how you, do you know? You have to understand how many times you talk about ass for him to even guess that shit. <laughs> for, for to be easy easy on me, near the ball bar. What's okay. the actual translation of what he said? He said that this white person's ass tastes good. <laughs> That's what you said to my friend over here. <laughs> you're too, you're That's what you said to my friend. You're a turd. Oh my god. Dude, think about it. Do a good one. Oh my goodness. Think okay. okay. By the way, that's also delight farts with if you for whatever reason have a fart coming on. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. E pegin saram? Gochu nomu mashusso. Why don't you go back to school? We'll give you two more guesses. Okay. Hmm. Keep it on the, you know, okay. on that level. Okay. Um, what does his penis taste like? Very close. And I'm also a disgusting fuck now, huh? He said, uh, did you, he said this pale person's dick tastes good. <gasps> That's pretty freaking close. That's pretty freaking good, dude. Wow, you do another one. Okay. I want to keep oh, doing okay, this. Okay, dude, I don't want him to, dude, because he's. I don't want him to His like body language, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, okay. Egon, nan chingu tong mashiso. Don't give it away too much. Though. Okay, if I could, so people out there who don't speak Korean, if you if you're listening to this, it literally sounds like two retarded Korean kids yeah, are talking yeah. to each other. We have the worst Korean. <laughs> I, in the comments are gonna be like, these two have the worst Korean. Yeah, and I don't mean like okay, let's say two mentally disabled Korean kids yeah. are speaking to each other. Yeah. So should I say it again? I don't yeah. know if that's any better. Okay. Yeah. Nan chingu, nan chingu tong mashiso. Um. Uh, who, who's, this, this guy's poop smells pretty good. 
he's getting real close. He knows he knows Korean people too well. Yeah. So I said you're because he said don't. Oh. That's right. He knows God the word. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's too easy. I've been enough around Steve where I know when he he says don't. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so I say don't a lot. Yeah. So, dude. so the translate. Go ahead. The what was the translation? Is... This person's poop tastes good. <laughs> Our Korean is so bad, we only know poop, dick, and ass. Oh, no, kotakchi, kotakchi. Ko- kotakchi, there you go. That's booger. That's booger. Go ahead, dude. Kotachi? Kotachi. Mm. Kotachi. Yeah. Okay. Mm, let me think of this one. <laughs> dude, throw a curveball at him, dude. Okay. These are, like, too obvious. Sashirin? No, that is it. Sashirin ojumun, murbada to bachiso. I say it again. 사실은 오줌은 물보다 더 맛있다고. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, go ahead. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> we've both had a turn with his mom. <laughs> no, dude, uh, he's way up on that hey, one. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna try to translate because you kind of threw some vocabulary. Like my vocabulary is literally mm. third grade level. But he said something to the the idea of. Your urine tastes better than water. I said, honestly, piss tastes better than water. (laughs) Cheers. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's pretty good. Okay, I have one more. Go last one. Okay, okay, last one. Last one. I'm gonna just. Nanen kochu nun, nanen kochu nun, chinguru chinguru donkomo pa 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 haja. Okay. First of all, how did that wasn't even Korean? <laughs> this man just made some fucking noises. <laughs> my own this fool just said pa pa pa. That's not Korean at all. So I don't know. What I think I, he, I think he spoke Ewok at some point. That. It's like what's that? Was, that was a wicked language. But just try to try. I this did my best. This fool spoke in tongues. I, yeah, I started rolling back. Yeah, how about let's get it? But you get it. No, I don't. Okay. Bro. Uh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? I'm trying my best. How about brother. you just tell him what you were trying to say and then he tries to. to, to it's, say like it. this, it's like a Korean kid was lost in a forest for years <laughs> yeah. and was raised by a pack of wolves. And he does it. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm trying my best, man. <laughs> Try to catch hey, the vibe. Cut to a scene of him going to Cape Town to talk. <laughs> oh, dude, Korean. they would lynch me there. They'd be like, I, "You're not one of us. I, you ain't Korean, bro." I would love to see you in Cape Town, just oh, talking that, to people. Dude, only you know Korean. what happens when I try to talk Korean? It, they completely ignore me. <laughs> like, you know, if I'm at a boba place and I try to do Korean, they 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 literally don't even acknowledge it. Really? Yeah, at all. It, like I'm, they're they're like. It would be like if I tried and I was failing. It's like hard, you like, trying no. to speak Russian or something, and oh, they're like, okay. if you spoke Korean even a little bit, the fucking old Korean ladies eat that shit up. Oh really? Oh, they, so I have a friend named yeah. Dan. He's half go, Korean, oh, go, half please, white, but he only looks white. Mm-hmm. He speaks a little Korean. These fucking ladies just wet the floor <laughs> every time they see him. It is it is absolutely disgusting. They'll come in. Oh oh, chogio mul, and they go. Oh, it's uh, mul. Yeah. You would be like the golden uh, child. Oh, yeah. okay, they would cool. fucking love it. The cr- the crazy thing about him is though, his mom doesn't speak any English at all, so he kind of understands Korean. One time we were in an elevator. This shit was so fucking funny. We're in an elevator, and then Dan is super fucking drunk, and he's like trying to scoot into this elevator, and he makes this Korean noise. He goes, oh, 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 oh. right, which is like how Korean people just make these random noises. Oh, Dan Fisher. Dan Fisher. I and remember, so, shout out to Dan Fisher. Yeah, I so remember Dan, Dan. Dan is in this elevator, and this one Korean girl is irritated at him. She goes, <sighs> like, and she starts talking shit. <laughs> and she goes, like, he looks at her, he goes, <laughs> like in Korean. And she goes, <gasps> oh, oh. starts covering up because she's so embarrassed. So embarrassed. Yeah. yeah, but he understands Korean, and he looks like you, and all the ladies eat it up. Wow. That's crazy. So let me do it with the third time. Try it. Try something that's actually in Korean. <laughs> that's Korean, dog. Pa pa pa. It's not Korean, but okay. Not in gochunun chingurun. Not not gochunun chingurun donkomok. God damn, what's that word? Juk juk has. Emnibiba. Emnibiba. Did you say Emnibiba horror? 
I have any more. <laughs> but just try, dude. I'm trying, dude. I'm telling you. It's, it's like, it, it's, it's like, like you know ahead. what? You know what it is? It's like, just, I don't know the word. You just need to say it with confidence. Yeah, yeah. Because he, every time you doubt yourself, yeah. it gets worse and worse. Okay, okay. 나는 고추는 친구는 똥꼬먹 이거 쭉쭉 해. Okay. The hard part about what he's saying is, I'm trying to understand what he's saying. 쭉쭉 해. 쭉쭉이 뭐야 이 개새끼야! 나 쭉쭉이 뭔지 몰라! 이거 빠빠 해자! 빠빠 빠빠 아니라고! 이거 쭉쭉 쭉쭉 모습 고추는 보지 고추 북부 쭉쭉 해! Dude, it's so... It's, he's having a stroke. <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> slash scissorbros. There are so many Korean people that are mad at us right now. Oh, they're going to hate me. They're going to like, <laughs> they hate me this too. guy's Korean is just a disgrace. But just try your best to interpret. Oh, Isn't you... Chingu friend? Chingu oh, is yeah. friend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So go something ahead. about a butt and then sucking. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Nan gochu chingu donkomok. I feel like, like he's gonna put his dick in your ass and start smashing you. <laughs> That's what it is. His, he's, he's trying to. <laughs> okay. his, his inflection was like it was a dad sending his son off to college. <laughs> and, and, and then you tell me it's the most vile thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, that's what we do here, baby. Mm. I'm so sorry. I, do the so... do the proper. Your Korean's way. Do the proper. But the thing is, statement. I... Do the pro. You say it for real now, so I can learn the Korean properly. Yeah, but then like I don't know how because I don't know Korean slang. I don't know how to say hit it from the back in Korean. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only learned how to speak Korean through my mom. Right. So there's no way my mom was like, yeah, I was getting my ass smashed yeah. right, in the right. back. Yeah, how yeah, do you yeah, say yeah. sex then? Having sex. Sex from the behind. Or oh. just it's sex in general. Dude, I don't even know if I know how to say sex in Korean because my mom never said that to me. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, but if you want to say it like in a slang type of very offensive way, like if a guy said that I wanted to fuck a girl, yeah, you say like which is like pick a fruit off a tree. Uh, so oh, da, yeah, it's like that readily yeah, available. So, yeah, yeah. I thought so a guy was the the dead skin. No, that's te. Tamogo oh. is like. <laughs> So much I know. So, so like, the, uh, de, that's so, de. You, so you'll hear a guy, he'll say this to a girl, and you know, Korean people, correct me if I'm wrong, this might be some old yeah, slang yeah. shit. So if if he looks, at, let's say two guys are around a girl, right? And then he goes, oh, I want to, is it okay if I if I fuck her? So I, like, can, can I, I eat the fruit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's interesting, dude. Yeah. So I mean, it's slang like it's a, it mean it's it's liter the literal translation is can I get that fruit? Can I eat that fruit? Yeah. So pick but the slang fruit. means can I hit that? Yeah, so that's from what I remember when I was younger, and I could yeah. be completely wrong. So remember, you know, I'm, you know, we we American Koreans. Right, right, right. Okay, I have yeah. a question. What's the difference between a gochu and a chaji? The proper way. <laughs> this is no, Korean no, no. 101. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Gochu yeah. is penis, right? Oh, isn't it but a chili if you pepper? if isn't you want to say private area, is koshigi. Koshigi. What what what's chaji? Chamji is supposed to be like pussy. <laughs> No, it's not Poji. Poji. Poji? Is it? See, my mom never said these words to me. <laughs> I, me neither. I'm just trying to learn. You I heard Poji is. David, vagina. you came out of my ear. Poji? <laughs> she said that to me every night. <laughs> Poji. Yeah. You like a Poji? <laughs> See, YouTube can't restrict this light. They don't even know what we're talking there about. There you go. There's no restrictions. There you go. We could say Korean all we want. So comment below, like, the proper uh, yeah, Korean Yeah, comment below words. your favorite Korean slang yeah. so we can learn it and use it on YouTube in the future. <laughs> yes, 100%. Yeah. I'm surprised that you can't speak Korean, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's Ooh. weird, dude? I'll be honest with you. I can only understand Korean when my mom talks to me. Like when I, and then if I go outside of the house and I listen to other Korean, I kind of catch certain things. But when my mom, she has spoken to me a certain way. Mm -hmm. I think maybe her way of slang that I understand. But when I'm I, when I go out of that, I don't understand a lot. I can't speak casual Korean to somebody because like when you speak Korean to like somebody that's like in the same age or like the respect level is here, oh, yeah. it's very casual. But I was only taught how, taught how to speak to adults, so that makes sense. It it. It doesn't translate. It's very. Inf it's like too formal. It's very weird That's and awkward. That's kind of with my Spanish. My Spanish is so formal, but like, like if I were to get in a conversation with somebody who is like not like in a polite setting, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? It would yeah, probably yeah, be the yeah, exact yeah. same thing. Mm -hmm. So it just always sounds a little weird. So mm -hmm. like when I I just went to Korea not too long ago. Where did you go? 
uh, I went in the spring. Well, mm-hmm. would you would you have work out there? Or? No, no, no. It was just it was for me to get my uh, engagement photos oh, done and wedding up. photos done, yeah. and then see family and stuff. That's yeah. cool. And I haven't been there since I was fourteen. So what was your experience like? Dope, man. Korea, first of all, America is backwards as fuck. I had no idea. Like there, everywhere else, like in Asia, it's so advanced. Like tech wise. Oh, oh really? yeah, oh. Japan and different places. Yeah, are, I mean, they they literally we get our stuff way later. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck is that about? Like, Sony and everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. When I was out there, Sony Toshiba. Yeah. The uh, the airport, everything is so streamlined. It's super nice. Mm-hmm. All the customer service, everything is clean, packaged well. All the streets are super clean. I mean, at night it gets dirty because everybody's drinking, but in the morning everybody cleans everything up. Mm. So I was a little shocked at how advanced it was in the last. You know, obviously it's been twenty years since I've been there. But during the time when I was there, when I was 14, so if, if people don't know, <clears throat> Korea obviously is, you know, we went through a lot of shit. So during that time, 20 years ago, even then we were still trying to build our economy back up. So when I used to go to Korea when I was younger, we had to bring back like Centrum, shampoo, food, candies and snacks because what we were getting back in the day, it was from China and the quality wasn't really that great gotcha. so we would have to bring vitamins and snacks because that's what they would ask for now they have everything so we don't we don't really provide anything for korea that's any better than what they have over here their stuff is better you know what's kind of weird too is like the way korean stores and coffee shops are set up they're like in alleyways dude like you know they're like hidden kind of super small yeah yeah like you have to just know what alleyway to go to do you hear what happened in halloween like a bunch of fools oh, died. Oh, dude, that was a crazy. Bunch, yeah, there, so in <laughs> Korea, uh, during a Halloween thing, uh, there was a party, right? And th- it was so compact because of what I'm talking about, how narrow the streets are. Dude, like a bunch of people like died. They got trampled on. Yeah, I think it was like everybody was super hyped because they haven't had that Halloween party since before pandemic. Yeah. And then people got trampled on to Ooh. death. To death. <clears throat> yeah. Like Black cause, Friday. Black, ex- <laughs> 100%. Mm-hmm. Black yeah. Friday, Walmart style, baby. Let's yeah. go. Sanity. If you were in that crowd, like how how would you survive? <laughs> Dude, hold on. Time stamp that. Time stamp that, Jordan. <laughs> Just kidding. Like, how would you survive if you were in that scenario? Wouldn't you try to like climb up like on a Oh, I just would see a crowd. I, first of all, I hate crowds. Me too. I'd be a I fucking hate crowds. I don't like being touched like that. Mm-hmm. Like It makes me feel like somebody's going to either take some shit from me, fuck me up, or hurt me. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when I see a big crowd, I'm that way. Yeah. I don't care what's, I don't care who's over there. But if you were, if you hypothetically, if you happen to be there, how would you, would the survival instincts kick in? Oh, I'd probably be dead for sure. <laughs> I'm, 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 your boy body soft. People dude, are stepping on you, me for sure. You look, dude. The last you look. I was I was complimenting just your physique, dude. I think you got to give yourself more credit. You look chisel, bro. Oh no, trust me. It, have you, you seen? Have you ever put leftover shit. Jello into a Ziploc bag? <laughs> That's, that's what that's what this boy's body looks like. It is deflated. Give yourself a little bit more credit than that, dude. Next you year, look, though, I'm trying to while. I'm trying you, to get Jack. Right, dude. You should be, dude. You're doing jujitsu now, aren't you? Training like at the yeah, gym. Yeah, man. We're boxing and stuff, but you know, let me tell you something, man. Boxing hurts, guys. Dude, like just that's why I'll never box. Hey, man, that thing right there, that shit snap in half. Exactly. <laughs> it it'll it'll make it go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this nose right here, Ooh, yeah, fucking got, tiny as shit. Got little button yeah. noses. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. We're a bunch of flat faced yeah, gooks. You'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's perfect. That's a, isn't that a perfect boxing nose? <laughs> it's already fucked up. It's like <laughs> this is a Rocky Marciano nose. It's like, dude, your, your nose is trash Stevie already. Marciano. You might as well just go right in the ring. Get in the ring, bro. <laughs> Nobody's but gonna tell you, the difference. Just boom, and then it'll crack it. I got a concu- I mean, I got a concussion once from getting elbowed, and I shot out so much blood from from being. I got elbowed right here, right at the bridge, right here. Yeah, and I I I, I got a concussion. I was all loopy, and yeah. Ooh, yeah, it's not worth it, man. I feel like it's great to hit pads and mm-hmm. then maybe light spar here and there. But if you're not planning to do it for uh, like a living or even like in an amateur sense, what is the point? Like, yeah. What are you well, trying what to about prove? Get, get in shape? And well, you could hit something. pads and train and learn the, the, the yeah. learn the martial art. You I don't think, have to. I think I might start jumping rope. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's a good exercise, yeah, right? Yeah, I love the not? way you said you it too. Hurt your nose. Hey, man, I'm trying to yeah. jump that rope, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you you I mentioned you mentioned you were grapp you got you getting into grappling. I, well. I tried like grappling and stuff, which is fucking hard, by the way. It's it's so different from boxing because or kickboxing. I mean, a lot of it's instinctual, but it's a lot of this, right? 
a lot of just people. It's a lot of it's a lot of wrist control and body it's, positioning. It's literally feeling. Yeah, like, it's feeling. You have to. You can, kind there's of no feel visual your way. cues. Yeah. So it's either you understand where your your position is or you don't. So it's just me getting butt fucked for an hour, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like it, and I feel so helpless. <laughs> what kind of grappling you, are you doing? Are you doing wrestling? Are you doing gra uh, uh, are you doing like jujitsu? Because those are two different things. So I have a torn. Uh, my meniscus is torn, so I can't even sit flat on my knees. Mm. So right now it's just like MMA based stuff. So oh. uh, starting that out with Nick the ear. You know Nick, right? The ear? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that Nick. Yeah. So we're trying it out because I love you know me some Dagestani's, some mm. Habib Nurmagomedov's. Mm. Found out. I hate this shit though. I don't fucking enjoy it as much. It yeah. sucks. It's hard shit. You, is there a gym or is there a clinic like what, what Lionheart Jiu Jitsu Academy? Oh, it's a Jiu Jitsu Academy. Mm -hmm. You know he would be good. I think. I, well, I, he's athletic either way. You'd be good. Yeah, at anything he you would do. be good. Anybody who plays a sport, like the the biggest difference is if you've never played a competitive sport or have done anything in like high anxiety situations, mm. uh, you have a clear disadvantage for people who have played sports their whole lives. Because they're, they're in that element. Yeah, they've yeah. been there before. Yeah. Like for, you know, you play basketball yeah. your whole life. You already have competitive nature. So oh, it, yeah. It, and He's competitive. <laughs> yeah. Competitive. Yeah. Yeah. competitive. Yeah, who gonna suck this dick harder today on <laughs> Scissor Pros, <laughs> baby? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's gonna get to that. No, man. <laughs> What the frick, dude? Yo, get what to that, the frick, dude? <laughs> hey, hold on a second, yeah, man. Hold on. Gerald, what do you think no, about no, that? No, 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 no. Don't bring Gerald into it. No, we're bringing Gerald, Gerald like no, this. No, 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 no. It's going to get to that. I'm ignoring know. everybody. What? Read your What heart. do you mean? Well, if it comes to dick sucking, I definitely have the neck support for it. Okay, yeah. Gerald. Okay. It's all good, man. Hey, uh, you know what we should do? Speaking of exercises, we should do some scissors right yeah. now. Yeah. Keep building the positivity yeah, in here. Yeah, baby. You ever done scissors before? One, two, and you count out loud. Three, four. Say it out loud with us. Six. Say the numbers out loud, David. I refuse. Eight, <laughs> nine, nine, ten. I think assaulted right now. <laughs> Twelve. Don't you feel the positivity flowing through you? <laughs> Seventeen. You feel better the more you do them. Nineteen and twenty. This is a great wow. transition to Stevie's fart corner. No, that's for the end of the show. You're never getting prime time with that segment. I feel like your farts smell absolutely horrendous. How do you know? You know me, brother. You know me, brother. Like, how do you know? Just, just looking at you. I you, you <laughs> that's hilarious. That is so funny. You look like you have the worst smelling you don't farts. Even, you don't even know what I do when I'm alone, dude. <laughs> with my farts. Yeah. Wait till he opens it's his mouth around you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think his farts are bad? Check his mouth. <laughs> They're basically the same thing. <laughs> His thong that comes out here, thong that comes out here. Like, yo, who's farting? No, no, Stevie just yawned. <laughs> so, there's there's a, a green miracle. cartoon cloud. Yeah. <laughs> it's a miracle that I even have a girlfriend. <laughs> it's like, how how does she endure this? Wait, is this a, this is a new lady, huh? Oh yeah, I love her. I want to give. Her, I love you, baby. Obviously, I you took you. the call. Yeah, I love you. Where, 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 for real, though. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I've yeah. literally never done that except for a bit on a podcast. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, you're good. No, I just send yeah. in my love as I well. Love, send in my love. How did, I know you got to communicate. Yeah, it's all how, good. How, wait, how did I get a female? <laughs> How did I attract a female? I'm just afraid, say it. I'm afraid if I light this closer to your mouth, the whole room's gonna explode. Yeah. Dude, it is. I don't know what, dude. It's something's going on here, dude. Internally, I you think. and your brother refuse to fix things that are in your mouth. Whoa. Your brother has six healthy Drop teeth. Drop the mic and walk away. Scissor Brothers. Scissor Bros hot sauce. Do you like hot sauce? It's our it's our own hot sauce that we have. Is this because you did hot sauce for challengers or something? Yeah, we do like we've done a lot of hot sauce challenges. Uh, I lost a challenge recently where a turkey base or hot sauce went up my butthole. Um, There's a thing. Revolutionaryhotsauce.com slash scissor bros. <laughs> I believe you. Revolutionary hot sauce collaboration. We have teamed, who is we? Uh, Revolutionary Tim, hot sauce. Revolutionary hot sauce. We have teamed up with Jeremiah Watkins and Steven Stevie Weeby Lee, the duo that makes up the amazing comedy podcast, the scissor bros. Their uplifting attitudes and positive spirits set them apart from the rest. Hilarious and generous, we just had to create a sauce with them to go on anything and everything. The Scissor Bros love it. 
and we hope you will too. Now I noticed something, at the end of every sentence is an exclamation point. That's because if there's so much energy? Yeah, a lot of energy. How hot is this? Uh, I would say... It's habanero. It's habanero chipotle, so, so it's, a proper it's hot fairly sauce. hot. It was too hot for my dad, uh, but I, I like it. It makes your nose run just a little bit if you eat a lot of it. Goes ground eggs, pizza, burritos, chicken wings. Good ingredients. All we have is organic habanero Stevie peppers, Weeby apple cider vinegar, chicken pot pies. sweet onion, red bell pepper, fresh mm-hmm. garlic, extra virgin olive oil, loser, <laughs> uh, virgin. Sugar, chipotle pepper powder, salt, tomato paste, cayenne pepper powder. What, what is it about? What is it about that? I, what, is this become a? Is it going to be a therapy session? Like, what is going on? Here? Is this a psychotherapy? <laughs> no, no, we no, no. don't like the dentist, bro. Even the- and you know what? It's crazy because I'm in pain right now. Oh, <laughs> that makes me really sad. Yeah, there's all kinds. Dude, I'm taking ibuprofen. <laughs> I'll leave. I'm popping a leaf. Those are two different dude. reactions. <laughs> what are you? Don't give me sympathy like that. I'm, I'm so going. sorry. I was like, wow, that is hilarious. <laughs> How do you know these things, dude? You are smart. How do you know all this stuff? <laughs> because, man. You, you just, just know. Dude, I got, I'm popping a leave and ibuprofen's like Skittles, a, dude. Hey, fix there's, them damn things. Because there, It's beyond. Oh, but that's you. the thing. What the leaves do is we go beyond repair. <sighs> No, it, no, no, no it's beyond, beyond repair. repair, dude. No, no, no. We'll let if we'll we'll let it sustain till it the tooth either cracks. What is your favorite or, food? Oh, that's a good question. I like pizza. Now imagine not being able to eat pizza for the rest of your fucking life. Fix your teeth. I see your point. Yeah. Your brother right now has to chew steak with his two front teeth. It is the same. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> dude, Bob chews with his gums. Okay, I was making a joke. I didn't know that was for real. <laughs> I didn't know that was some, I didn't know that was a fact. That is okay. No, no, seriously, you're right. He chews with because the, the, there's no things that could break down the food. He has because I remember we, we were eating a steak one time, and dude, and I remember he was taking extremely long. And, and I, I was I was watching. I never see somebody and, gum dude, steak, bro. You know, he was going like he was like doing this literally <laughs> looking like a like a camel. He was, he was literally like just giraffe. just using like some like something other than his teeth. Just, I go, what? Are you okay? Like, what's going? on? He's like, dude, I can't chew. I go, what do you mean? He goes, I chew with my gums. I'm like, whoa, that's cr- yeah. That is unenjoyable. What chewing steak with your gums? Wait, yeah. he has that many missing teeth. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. He, he, you know, just for I think you know, because you know, he he acts and does stuff. He just keeps the the first five here. So anytime you'll see him in a picture and he smiles, it's just these teeth here. Everything else is missing. I mean, he has money. <laughs> I know, dude. He can get fix all- it. Yeah. Like what? literally, his life would be so much better. Oh yeah. If he had teeth. Oh yeah. So let me ask you is this because I haven't been to the dentist in a long time. <laughs> it's biblical. It, it's yeah, biblical, it baby. Is. Ezekiel 5, 4, yeah. 7. You need teeth. Yeah. <laughs> and God said, let there be, be teeth. teeth. Let there be teeth unto them. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a missing tooth in, in, in a gum uh, socket, can you, how do you, can you, what are those? They drill an imp, uh, a screw and they screw on a new tooth. I, I've been watching videos on YouTube so about this shit. So they screw in a fake Yes, yeah, of course, one hundred percent. You know when people's like teeth rot so bad, they just excavate the whole shit. And that's they put that's a, us. That's us. They put a new root in and they'll yeah. attach a cap to it, and then you have new teeth. Yeah. So you're not missing any teeth? No, I actually had my very first cavity three years ago. Mm. So and you I, you have all your teeth present. They're mm-hmm. in your mouth. Facts or cap? Oh, <laughs> okay. <Mom>. You <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> and then you have you your teeth too. You be a dumb dentist. <laughs> <laughs> you have your teeth too, Joe. Yeah. Okay, so I'm 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 missing a few, yeah. 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 These three two are gone. Three, three here. A hundred percent. The smell is coming from the cavities, then. Oh. So you it's have rotting. Ro- you have rotten teeth in your mouth, and somehow you are alive. So I need you to go fix those things. Okay. Well, I need Jordan to timestamp this moment. <laughs> I don't want any. We've of that talked out. about it so much on this podcast. Yeah. About how he needs to go to the dentist. But anyway. Yeah. We'll put it back in the fucking podcast, Mr. No Teeth. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> and you. then this doesn't help. <laughs> I feel like if you sneeze, all your teeth would fall out. I need <laughs> you. <laughs> <Hot> to- <Yeah. laughs> 
Or just, this would be a good segue. I don't like the way you did your mouth there. Do, do it again. Do that again. Yeah, I don't like that. It's so funny because you have a boxer's nose and boxer's teeth too. So you might as well just. We're the perfect couple. Yeah. <laughs> perfect pairing. I'm doing this because I want you to live a better fucking life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all the. That's the only reason I nag. That's the only reason. Please, I beg you. See, now that's another person, and this one's Korean, so hopefully know, that's even more impactful than a, this guy. you're talking to a frugal Korean brother over here, brother. That's ton, ton. Listen. That's a lot of ton. <laughs> Tell him what I we just We don't said. want your teeth to go to ton. <laughs> yeah, no, I said, said ton. Oh, it's already a ton, dude. I, no, I said <laughs> That's ton. the problem. I said ton, ton, not ton. I know, ton. but listen. Money, money. It is money, but it's worth every fucking cent. It's worth it. Thank you. Right? Next time, don't get him a birthday gift and just get teeth. Okay, now... I would like, David, you have a beautiful voice, okay? And yeah, yeah, do, we want do to a song do a little collab teeth. with you. And we would like for you to sing an R&B style song. Yeah, because you have a, be- yeah, a to voice Steve, of an angel. To Steve about how Teeth and him need to get together like a couple. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so play him so, something, something kind of R&B or something kind of... Oh, Ooh. got that, that synthesizer sound going. Sex. Okay. Sex. The saxophone, baby. Oh, we gonna talk this real slow. I've been neglecting you for quite a while now. <laughs> baby, I swear to God, I'm gonna do better. Hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Haven't checked up on you in a hot second. And I'm telling you, it hurts me, literally. (laughs) For real, baby, I need to fix my teeth. Teeth. I need to fix my teeth. Ooh, it's been weeks, months. (laughs) That's some weird R&B chords you're playing. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything because Steve gets at me when I comment on his piano playing. <laughs> and he ain't playing. Ooh. <laughs> we only have the budget for two chords in this <laughs> R&B song. <laughs> because... <laughs> It matches the amount of teeth he has in his mouth. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what are you playing? We got a C chord and a... A C and an F. Okay. What is this? <laughs> You're How about we two do a duet? Okay. Okay, so you do the C. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. I only got two teeth. I only got two teeth, baby. And I can't chew my food anyways. Only mushy foods, only mushy foods. I'm talking oatmeal, oh yeah. Uh, It's been a minute since I had steak. I can't chew my chicken bakes And no, my real teeth, they ain't fake But I only got three, three, three teeth Three teeth, three teeth Yes, they is weak They so damn weak I bet to not sneeze If I do, they gon' fly out my mouth they gon' fly out this mouth 
I'm fun to look like I'm from the south Two teeth, baby Two teeth, baby I got two teeth That turned out pretty good. <laughs> that turned out pretty good. There What's you go. the name of that song? Two Teeth. It's called Two Teeth. That's called Two Teeth. <laughs> two, two Teeth. <laughs> two Teeth. <laughs> that's his rap, That's his new rapper name. Yo, that's, but seriously, oh, man. fix your goddamn teeth. I will. There we I go. will. There we go. Um, wait, wait. Before we move past the topic or onward, uh, I, can I? Is there a way I can get gold? How do I get gold uh, teeth? Like to fill into in these gaps. I'll tell you this though. Yeah. Can you build a house on a pile of sand? <laughs> let's, 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 let's fix the foundation for us. Oh, yo, oh. talk about Korean proverbs right there. I mean, can that you is. Can build a house on sand? Can you? Can you? Oh, so I, that's I, biblical. I'm, I'm, re, that I'm, re, biblical. I'm reaching. I'm really reaching. Before get you, the foundation. Yes. Get the foundation done. Then think about that later mm-hmm. down the line. I'm telling you, your life will change. It will? Yeah. My whole life has changed since you came in. I knew back then you were that special one. I'm so in love, so deep in love. Fix your teeth. <laughs> Okay. Hey, baby girl, ever since you didn't fix your teeth, we had to split apart. There it is. Just like your enamel. There it is. Mm. But really, though. Okay. <laughs> <And there, laughs> After that whole freaking thing, dude. He what? doesn't listen. What? I just, I listened. You put in a dip after that whole speech. I know, but this is, I mean, I'm not at the dentist now, right? How do people get into dip? Like, when did you first start doing that? Because you that doesn't what? look I like appetizing. What, I, like, I like what you're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like your mind. Um, You want to know the whole trajectory? Yeah, because, like, that doesn't look appetizing at all. So, what made you want to get. A pile of I mean, grass is sticking in your mouth. Do you want to want me to go through the timeline of like the whole history of my life? Well, let's shorten it up a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. I, Thank think you. I, I was a child. <laughs> I was born. <laughs> Once the vagina opened, I saw the light. <laughs> then I had my Kodiak in my mouth. My, mouth. my mother. No, no. Honestly, uh, when we're because we used to live in Minnesota, like this was like first grade or something like that, and uh, I, we used to go, you know, during the winter we'd skate the rink and shit during the winter time and at the uh you know like the the place the lodge where you put your skates on they would have a snack bar uh, this dude this older dude i was a kid like just offered me like some copenhagen and i remember like as a kid putting it in my mouth i mean you know, why would you do that to a kid right yeah that's a little weird and i remember it, i got dizzy and then i'm like I, I i just it made me sick but then later in life um i would say like way later in life like during rest the rest when i started wrestling Cause it's a part, you know, like baseball, like yeah, the baseball culture there, they put th- you know, sunflower seeds and chewing tobacco. It's, it's a part of it. So I remember uh, one of my teammates, Jason Barker, uh, had a uh, skull mint and he goes, Lee, here, try some of this. And then that's when I got addicted. Cause it was a part of like the wrestling culture. And you liked it the first time that you put Yeah, that in I mean, mouth. I just, I remember it was just a part. It was like, I want to be, feel a part of the team. Right. So like, like other wrestlers were doing it and i'm like you know we'd be in the van on going to a tournament and so then, this brings back good memories every time you put it in your mouth yeah i mean yeah and then i mean you know what's crazy mm. is and that's how it and started is, with his fascination of things going inside his mouth that he likes <laughs> can i finish my timeline <laughs> <laughs> son of a gun <laughs> so disrespectful i know <laughs> may, I, may I continue my story? I don't even spit. And then. What, you swallow? <laughs> and then. I swallow. <laughs> swallow tobacco juice. Mm. And that is beyond. Are you supposed to? This, that's even beyond some redneck yeah. shit. Yeah. So there's a redneck. Even, that you even, go even, even, no, 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 even no, no, rednecks bro are like, nasty. Yeah, yeah, even rednecks are like, <laughs> uh, that, damn. I can't damn. believe that the guy do that. This are little dinker do? don't even I guess spit. Koreans do that a little different. Yeah, <laughs> little dinker swallows it whole. <laughs> <laughs> little dinker swallows I, I love the whole <laughs> kid and caboodle. I love your redneck accent because you're like six foot two, but you sound like you're four foot one. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> So that's that's a little I'm, odd. I'm two country boys stacked on top of each other. <laughs> yeah. <In a> long coat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Why do you swallow that shit, you nasty, nasty man? Cause can I guess? Can I guess? <laughs> yes. It takes 
<coughs> effort to find a cup. To You're saying I'm so frugal I can't even find a Dixie cup to spin it? Is it true or is it true? I spent $90 on your New Balance shoes, dude. And that's where all the money went. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, know no, what no. it is. I think it's more of like you don't want to try to find something. And no, you'd that's rather not what it chill. is. No, that's not okay, what, it what is. is it? What is it? I like. It reminds me of like you know, like beef jerky juice or something. Oh, then it's you just ner- like the taste. Though. I like the taste. Dude, don't judge me, please. Don't judge me. Think about it, dude. Be Listen, nice to me. Lose my fucking number. I've, <laughs> I've never in my life. That's crazy. Dude, like, we're Korean brothers, dude. Oh, this no, is, we're this, not. Is bro- this is Korean it, brother shit. Dirty Korean. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the career? I would be a gangpe. No, gangpe is gangster. You're a koji got tinseki. That, that. Oh, that I don't know what that oh. was, but that hurt me. Dude. <laughs> it means, it means that a, hurt me, brother. You're a bum bitch. <laughs> so I'm a bum bitch. Bum don't down. do stuff like that. You are worth more than tobacco <laughs> spit. <sighs> we all God, believe this in you, man. Become like a intervention, man. intervention for yeah. me. Yeah. Are you guys ready for Stevie's fart corner now? Okay. No, we're Jesus Christ! Do that at the very end of the podcast. Okay. <laughs> which That's... fart? Which fart is it coming up from the mouth of the ass? I got. No, a, I got some on he, my. I got people some. People send him audio recordings of their farts that he requests, and he plays them into the mic on the podcast as part of a segment. <laughs> it's called Stevie's fart corner. Listen. Dude, think about he wants what you're to go, about to say, brother. He wants brother. to go prime time the show. I go. That's going at the very end. <laughs> the I got very my, my end. farts are ready, dude. Good. Okay, you guys ready to no, hear? No, we're not doing it right now. <laughs> Why don't we do the challenge? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you've seen our challenges, right? I've seen <laughs> <laughs> so much fear. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you see it? Yeah, dude, you had fear on your face. Legit. I go. Oh, do legit I look fucking scared? scared? You look scared as hell. I go. You ready for the challenge? And there's fear in your eyes. We're gonna be take it easy on you. Okay. Since I got my Korean brother in the studio. You got something? We're doing the top ramen slurping challenge. <laughs> so I, there, I got three different top ramens. Okay. We're Why do they all look the up. same? That's the way I got them. I don't know. Because we're all going to be <laughs> eating three them, for right? One. Yeah, there are three different okay. bowls. Uh, minimal uh, broth. And you can't use... Any utensils, no ch- no chopsticks, no fork, no fork, spoon, nothing. You have to just use your mouth and slurp, and whoever finishes first wins. And whoever finishes last, you want to know the punishment? Yeah. Balut. Balut? I like balut. <laughs> first of all, whoever loses has to eat balut. Well, then I'll lose then. <laughs> you got to understand. You like balut? But this is like, you remember Fear Factor, right? Like Fear Factor was the dumbest show ever for Asian people because they would have like regular Asian food on there. They're like, you want to eat duck eggs? And then be like one Filipino. Why not? <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget about me. Give that to me. <laughs> so descri- describe what balut is to the balut is a duck. It's a duck fetus. That's all that it is. And you crack it open. There's a little juice inside. You put a little vinegar in there. And that's it. Butang, you're good. But, <laughs> that's a good Filipino accent. Yeah. yeah. Don't so forget it's, it's to a, put the vinegar. It's a, it's, a, it's a duck fetus. Yeah, depending on how developed it is, right? So if you get the ones that are a little, a little too much, you'll get the feathers and the bones. Okay, well, now it's not so appetizing. But if you get the one that's just right, it doesn't have so much feathers and bones. Mm. But <laughs> <laughs> I've never had it. And oh, I hope I don't have it today. Oh, you gonna lose, baby. Because let me tell you something. When it comes to slurping shit up and throwing it in my mouth, let's cut that out. When it comes to... <laughs> let's, uh, pause. 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 <laughs> when it comes... <laughs> let's yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we do, do, time do time, time steps here, yeah. right? Time Actually, step pause it, rewind it, play it again, <laughs> then, how about and then we, we'll uh, do it. Yeah. When it comes to slurping shit up and throwing it in my mouth... <laughs> when it comes to... When it comes to eating... <laughs> I eat. That's what I do. I love that because it's Team Korea versus USA. Oh. World Cup is going on right now. Team Korea but versus USA. Who, we're a te- no, we're a team. Wait, what do you mean? No, we're a team. That's my team. Korea. You're saying I have to beat both of you in the speed? Y- yeah, it's Team Korea versus Team USA. <laughs> well, let's let's get into it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm, I'm ready let's for this. Get into it. I'm pretty nervous. Dude, just dude, this, just think of it as a meal. We're all having a, a feast I together. know, but I don't want to eat the balloon. I know. <laughs> you might like it. 
It's okay. a bird. Okay, hold up. You guys. Ready? So if I lose to either yeah, of you, I need the balloon. I already said we team Korea versus team USA. Why are you That's doing this brother. to me? Okay, it's five, like soccer, baby. Four, three, two, one, go. I'm done. <laughs> I told you I love this shit. You thought I was playing, huh? <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. He ain't the only one that gun through shit. <laughs> I'll ever use my teeth. Y'all thought I was fucking around, huh? I can eat all three of your bowls in one second. Y'all oh. forgot I was 300 pounds. Steve and I have the exact same amount Dude, eaten. How did you do hold that? Hold on, hold on. I got a comment. Dude, that's like Guinness Book of World Record type shit you just did. That is insane. How did you do that? That's insanely fast. My first how job. How the fuck did you do that? Before I used to do comedy, I suck dick, baby. <laughs> That shocks me. I Look, have so we have so dude, much left. We were just getting started. Y'all thought I was playing Kobayashi. I'm oh. literally looking for noodles around your feet or in oh, your dude, hoodie. I didn't even spill a drop on oh. me. <laughs> dude, this is crazy. In the blood dude. of a Jesus of Christ, I pray for you. How the hell did you do that? I love ramen. We didn't know that. See People that. think I exaggerate when I talk about how much I love pack ramen. I love that shit. I don't even chew my food sometimes. Have you seen a duck eat? Same here. You just swallowed it whole? That's how I do it, baby. First job, help me out. Out in the streets. Ah, ah. So it looks like Team Korea won. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to eat the balloon now? <laughs> you know what like, my favorite part of this is? <laughs> is that when I said done and I saw this whole face, it was like... How is this even possible? Because I thought I was doing really good. <laughs> I thought I was doing okay, too. I thought I was doing great. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, dude. I'm, 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 I'm at a good pace. And literally, you did that in like under a minute, dude. It, that's insane, bro. Dude, you could probably be like a... When I think I was, I was the fastest on the planet Earth. After school, when I was younger, I used to just make pack ramen for myself. And I would make three. Just to eat by myself right after school. Three? Three. Did and I you would... know this ahead of time? I have no idea. This is insane, bro. My mom, my dad told me this story about myself when I was a kid. A little embarrassing. Hilarious, though. <laughs> he said that he remembers when I was a kid, <coughs> I used to steal other kids' foods. And I would switch it out with them so fast, they wouldn't even know their food was gone after I ate it. <laughs> told that in front of a girl I liked. I hated him for life. But Papa So don't lie. Oh, my God. God, dude, I think that that's a skill. Sapporo Ichiban! Please sponsor the season of Ross! Okay. Okay. Now eat the balloon, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are evil. <laughs> dude, that shot, dude, that's shocking. That is shocking to me, dude. Well, I gotta dude, say, everybody was. And the accuracy, bro. No, Jer. Wait, can you tell? He's never eaten this, so can you instruct him how? Like, wh so wh like the take balut, it easy on him. The balut, the thing that you're gonna try to eat, from what I've heard from my Filipino, when I did have it, is that people typically don't like to eat the egg white because it's very rubbery and hard. So you're really just going for the fetus, the egg yolk part, which is the most delicious part. There's gonna be a little bit of a broth in there, which is just uh, bird broth. <laughs> hey, man, that's my family. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't want to be a cannibal. <laughs> That's bird broth, That's baby. Bird broth, baby. <laughs> That's bird broth, baby. And, you know, sometimes when people will put a little vinegar in mm. there, it will probably taste really good with the noodles. Okay, so is this a, is this one okay? Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. I don't know 
how developed that fetus is, but we're going to find out. You have to cook it first, right? It's already cooked. Oh, it's already cooked. It's already cooked. It should be. Well, I boiled it. Oh, it's good then. You're yeah. good to go. Yeah. Okay. It's cooked. So, so how do I... So crack the top open and you're going to peel peel the thing just, and then just, the just top, take a... Just the top. Yeah. You don't have to get the... I mean, the whole thing if you want, but you're going to really go for the yolk. The, the top, the smaller part? Yeah. Just hit. The, just break that part open. Oh, my goodness. Steve, you got to eat it too, though. Nah, by the way, I, the, by the way, I beat your ass too in this. Nah, you got to eat nah, one too. This is Team Korea, dude. This is Team <laughs> like Korea, dude. Sorry, dude. I've done it too before. I've eaten that. I, I mean, this is boiled solid. I ate it on Tiger Belly. This is boiled pretty solid. That egg is thick. Yeah, it's. There you go. <laughs> I like how you're still eating it. <laughs> it's just lunchtime for you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you know that because you decided to do this gang up challenge on me that I got to go hard on you pretty soon. What do you mean? Challenge wise. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. This is worth it to you? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Do you see when we pooed in the diapers? Oh. Okay, I didn't see that episode, okay. <laughs> but yeah, guess what I'm Google searching tonight. It's a good one, dude. It's a good one. Oh! It just skated! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this, dude. Dude. Oh my goodness. I'm free. <laughs> just... Dude, that was Steve. Insane. That was insane. I've eaten we've we've eaten this before. That is the broth of oh, the balot. My. So describe this is a duck fetus. This is a duck egg. It's a developing What duck. kind of duck? Is it from the Philippines? It's it is a Philippine duck. It's a Philippine duck. <laughs> Filipino duck. This is wild, bro. So there's there's cartilage in there. There's like brain. I mean, it's it's develop depending on the development stage, right? So sometimes it'll have feathers, and if it's really developed, you'll crunch through the bones. <laughs> Why are you so happy? <laughs> because <laughs> this is a delicacy <laughs> from Manila. Oh my. God. God, who thought of this stuff? Yeah, my my friends. How who did had they come me, up with this? Well, I, you know, I don't know, but my friends they must who have had been me try it. They must have been hungry on that island, huh? I remember when I had it the first time. I was like, oh wow, <laughs> so, so, wait, go ahead. we can't wait. Uh, <laughs> Just but, do it now. So, what's the brown all about? Why is it brown? There's like veins and stuff, and okay. the developing parts. Oh my goodness! So this so. is a real. He's eating like a baby bird. Basically, yeah. So, am I supposed to drink some of... There's some fluid and stuff. That's, yeah, you drink that broth. You have to drink the broth. So, that's just... Uh, and they'll salt it, too. They'll have a little salt for it. And you're kind of going, Damn, that one, that one, that Playboy Juicy. Whoa, yo! There it is, right there. So, that's the part you're going to eat, that, that fetus area. The but, yellow? So, what is yeah, the yellow. whole thing? No, just bite it. You don't have to eat the whole thing. Most people don't eat the egg white because it's super rubbery. But you just take a bite into it, and I tell you, it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, just close your eyes. Close what, your what? eyes, dude. That's There's a lot of veins that's and crazy, stuff, man. Dude. Close your eyes, make, make a, a wish, wish, and blow out the candle. <laughs> it's not as bad as you think it is. Egg yolk. Mm -hmm. It's just the texture's a little I, weird. I feel the bones. <laughs> I feel the bones. But it doesn't taste as bad. Okay. It's not as bad. Okay. <laughs> What's going on right there? That was a big swallow that I just did. I think I'm just going to eat the second half. Let's let's go. Let's go. And after this. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, my head. Oh. My head. Oh, you're eating the egg white, too. That shit is hard as fuck. There you go. Most people don't eat that egg white part. Yeah, I don't think I can. It's really hard. Yeah, it's just the 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 egg yolk part that people enjoy. Oh, you know this would be a good. How you feeling, dude? Like a champion. Yeah, dude. You know we don't great? stop. Then we'll end it with the farts. <laughs> you can tell how much he hates this segment because of how stupid it is. <laughs> I know it's dumb. That's why I love it. I think farts are funny. But not when they're planned. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. They got to be improvised. Yeah. It's like jazz, baby. Skinny you know what? 
Now wait. I hey, think Jordan that I, Q in the Stevie's fart corner. Ba, 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 I did get. I did ba, get. Ba, 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 I did get some bones. I'm t- I'm hearing the crunch and I'm feeling like a little cartilage and stuff like that. But you know what? Not as bad in taste as I would have ever expected. A hundred percent. I actually. I might eat another one right now. He's invited to the family party. All right, you guys ready for that? This is an underwater fart. Okay. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Turn my mic up. Turn my mic up. Turn my mic up. <laughs> Terrified doesn't give Turn a my fuck. My <laughs> it's like, up. I don't give a fuck about this section. This is insane. Yo. <laughs> That sounds like a Loch Ness monster. I know. I love it. So that one's from Ruth uh, Jalesco. Good one, Ruth. Here's uh, This one's from Austin Nelson. What's up, boys? I just wanted to say, Jeremiah, come back to Minneapolis soon. Much love. Stevie, keep it up. This is one of the best bits on the show. Here you go, boys. Okay. He sounds like... Sexual he assault is the only way he talks to women. This is one of the best bits on the show. So I got to show love to my main man, Austin Nelson. Love you, Austin. Did he fart in a toilet in prison? What was that? <laughs> this is this next one is from Lex Garraway, Stevie's Fart Corner. Here we go. <sighs> that wasn't even nothing. Come on, give us some. It looks like you're chiseling oh, like, a weapon out of stone. Like he's trapped in his pants. Do you hear that? <laughs> I would rather eat balut <laughs> than listen to Stevie's fart corner. This okay, segment is go. only is good from, because of how disinterested this, you are. This next one is from my main man Phil Troughton. Here we go, Phil. What was that? He died. My man drank the broth. It was like grunting, huh? Did you hear that, Pongo? Okay, that was Phil. a little louder next time, Phil. Um, this segment is not working. But <laughs> This one's from Ralph D. I know that's why I love it. That's why I love it. Let me tell you something. It's... All right. Dude, that's not working? Oh, that's not doing anything for you, David? <laughs> that's not doing anything for you? You don't love it? You don't love it? And that... Wait, hold up. Come on. I thoroughly enjoy watching you eat bio. And Dude, so you know what? that one was good, guys. You know what the crazy thing is? Like, the balot that you have is actually good. Like, it's not too developed. It's like a strong egg yolk. I mean, there's some <clears throat> hair and some stuff in here that's a little bit, it's a little bit of a mental obstacle. But you guys don't like my fart corner. Oh, I, I actually real, I just realized you were still doing it, which is kind of nuts. <laughs> you guys, hold up! You completely ignored Stevie's fart corner. I think most of your viewers did too. <laughs> Patreon. I think, I, I think the balut is upstaging you a little bit, buddy. Patreon.com/slash/scissorbros. Thanks again for another great episode, and uh, thanks to David So for coming in, our Korean brother. Um, is there anything you wanted to plug real quick? You know, thanks for all the support on Stand Up on the Spot. I know I push yeah. it real hard, guys, but I love y'all. Definitely tune in to Stand Up on the Spot when he does it. He puts a lot of effort in there. You don't even know what he goes through. He shows up hours in advance, setting up the audio, promoting on Insta stories. Dave, do you want to plug some stuff, man? Let's plug your uh, you and Tim's stuff. Oh, yeah. Check me out at Dudes Behind the Foods, uh, me and Tim's podcast, uh, Genius Brain Podcast. Also, Secret Society just dropped their, uh, their fall winter line, you see. Oh, right here, it. baby, yeah, yeah, the yeah, cap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Jumbi Waikiki, my matcha store out in Waikiki. Give it a go. Yes, Check yes. It out. go support that, guys. Go to the go and get that. 
right? Yes. Uh, you got and the that's, address for that? Uh, it. It's at the Royal Hawaiian in Waikiki. You, you can't miss it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Instagram, website, anything? Yeah, everything. David So Comedy, Genius Brain, Dudes Behind the Foods, and uh, Junbi, J-U-N-B-I, baby. Mm-hmm. Secret Society, S-C-R-T-S-O-C-I-E-T-Y.com. And check out, uh, I just did uh, the No Chaser podcast with Tim. Mm-hmm. And we'll get him on here soon. We were going to do yeah. a, a 2v2, but uh, but uh, we're so grateful that you were dude, able to thank come, dude. You, brother. I'll tell you this. I probably ate for both of us. Dude, dude that you was, absolutely that was so impressive. did. Y'all thought I was playing. Honestly, dude, I ate for two today. I probably yeah. ate for mine and Steve's L that would have happened I had know. you and Tim been. You That's honestly should have ate the balut, too. Can I, you, are, you, uh, are you proud of me? I ate two balut, bro. Two. I ate I two know, balut. Shout out to my Asian brothers and sisters. I love y'all. <laughs> We just be eating anything. We eating anything out here in these Scissor streets. Scissor Bros, baby. Mm. That was fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Scissor Brothers. Um. Hello. Is anybody still there? It's your pal Gerald, and give it up for our pal David So. I thought that was a great guest episode. What do you guys think? Nice to see all the boys laughing and smiling so much as, you know, we bring in this new year. New Year's resolution for me. Keep going to my Sexaholics Anonymous class. Keep working on that. Because your boy has been fucking this year. And I need to work on it. Need to wrap it up. I don't know if you know what the materials are for draft condoms but i gotta look into it maybe it's like like rubber tires or something i don't know okay well i gotta go but i love you guys and hope you have good new years and good resolutions and we love you bye only mushy foods i'm talking oatmeal oh yeah uh, it's been a minute since I had steak I can't chew my chicken bakes <laughs> <laughs>